Greetings to everyone. Just like a flower that adorns the plant, so also our Christian life is built on the foundation of three principles: the principle of faith, hope, and love. What is this faith? We usually, when we say faith, we associate it with "I believe," the apostolic creed. The very moment I say "I believe in God," it shows an immense desire towards God. What is this desire? What is this? I believe in God. Let us come to know about this in today's interview with Reverend Father Prasanna Kumar, who has specialized in scripture and is a priest of Karnataka Goa Province of Discalz Carmelites. A hearty welcome to you, Father. Thank you, dear brother. Today, the world expects that the meaning of faith, how it works, how people practice. and especially in the holy mother the catholic church this meaning of faith is explained and indeed you people have taken the initiative to explain to the people the meaning of faith under the title the apostolic creed just as i had said in the beginning when i say i believe it shows an immense desire towards god is this desire really there does man have desire for god if so what are the practical examples that you would give us yes the question is indeed very apt man has a great desire 100% no doubt at all in that case every religion tries to explain the meaning of faith but we as catholics have a unique way and which is true and we believe that this faith is revealed by the true god alone the one god the only god the loving god that is through jesus christ man always has this desire to experience and is in search of god god always draws man towards himself because man finds happiness and truth in god and it is a continuous journey because man is in search of god and he uses some means to experience and to know god like prayer meditation contemplation sacrifices and rituals etc man also is free to search or not to search for god why because man is free and this freedom is given by god when man has an attitude of giving importance to this world and its things and so naturally there will be a difficult to search for god because of the attachment that he has for the world but in spite of all this god knows what is good to everyone and this god gives opportunity to this man to love him to serve him to know him and to be with him and so those who have good heart and those who know the meaning of what is faith surely they will find god when you said of desire i remember a great sentence from st augustine my heart is restless until it rests in thee this brings us to the second question is god knowable if so how The second question that you have raised is how can we know God God created this human being according to his likeness and image that we read in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 and so human being is the crown of creation and God who has created this man also 
infused in him the faculties like intellect, will and memory. And by using all these three faculties, man with all faith can know God. To know God fully, it is not possible. But at least for a certain extent, by using the three faculties, man can try and God reveals because God who is all loving, God who is always kind and God who is always good gives this opportunity to this man because the intellect that is given by God himself. And so to know God in the history of the church, in the life of the theologians and the philosophers, we have given us proof for God's existence. And one of them is St. Thomas Aquinas. And these proofs should not be based on the natural sciences that we see today. But actually, it should be in the sense of conversing and convincing arguments which allow us to attain certainly above